All right. Hi. Hi, folks. How are we doing? Good. Hello. Great. Hi, Lori. I'm going to wait a few more minutes and see if we've got anybody else joining tonight. Is Tom coming? Yes. Tom will be here. Okay. How about Jim? Jim will also be here. Yes. Um, Jim is recovering from surgery and health stuff. So we're going to be real gentle with him tonight. <laughs> So oh, we're gonna be taking uh Tom's gonna take minutes, but we're we're also gonna use the transcripts that Angela puts together. So okay. Do you have the a name of the person? I have the slides from the person that for, um for March. Well, no, 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 not Christine, but for the person that sent an inquiry in. Yes. I keep going through my email and I cannot find the person's name. I have well, I Mark, have that. that's that's which person we have we're dealing with two at the moment. Hi, Tom. Yeah. Um, who is the person that sent in the photographs the, of paintings? The new one. Okay, the new one. Christine, Christine Mirabel. No, no, not the one that's going up March and April. Well, that's why I'm asking which one you mean. So you mean the other no, one? No, not not Christine, but um Terry uh, said Ag me Agnes Agnes. Ag yeah. Agnes something. Yeah. Right. So can somebody send me that email again? So, yep. I pulled up and you have that Tom? I lost the yeah, I'll send it. Great. name. But it's a good I think she should we should put her in. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're gonna talk about that tonight. Okay. I'll uh, let me do my little stick here. Um okay. welcome everybody. Uh welcome to Amherst Public Art February meeting. Um I am Terry Holt, I am the co-chair. Thomas is the other, well, Tom is the other co-chair. Um, in light of the ongoing COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak, the go then Governor Baker issued an emergency order on March 12th, 2020, allowing public bodies greater flexibility in utilizing technology in the conduct of meetings under the open meetings law. Pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so by clicking on the Zoom link. This recording gets uploaded to the town's YouTube channel promptly after the meeting. No in-person attendance by members of the public is permitted, but every effort is made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. And in the event they are unable to do so, or regardless, we will post this on the town's YouTube channel shortly after the meeting. Thank you. All right, we're all here. I think Jim is, uh, uh, hopefully he's coming along. We'll, we'll, we can get going. Welcome to February. I can't believe it's February already, but welcome to it. Gosh, we're halfway through it now. I can't even believe it. How about that snowstorm, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we're supposed to get two more inches today, right? Yeah. That didn't happen. I'm okay with that, though. Robert, good to see you. Nice to see everyone. I hope you have heat. I do. Oh. Thank you. Fantastic. And your basement is not under ice anymore? Not at the moment. Okay. I'm, I'm, pulling, for, I'm pulling for your basement. <laughs> go, Heater, go. <laughs> All right. Does everybody have a copy of the agenda and the minutes? No, I should open that up. Um, I can uh, share that if that's helpful. Everybody like me to do that? I can do that. So, so we we don't actually get sent copies, right? We just have to go and look for them on the town site. So it? Angela sends you an email every month with the uh, with the invite, and I believe the agenda is attached. Um, earlier this week, I sent you all the minutes and the agenda also, so you can look for an email from me. I think I sent it Tuesday. Oh, huh. yeah. the The notice about this meeting came rather late. I apologize. All right, where is my share share screen? There it is. All right. All right, we're gonna share this screen. All right. And I'm gonna get my agenda. It's here. Okay, can you all see the agenda? Yeah. Yep. All right. Here we are. Okay. Uh, I need to keep an eye on the Zoom. 
just in case Jim comes in. Okay. And I don't see any attendees of the public, so I think that we are we are good. Unless I just don't see them. Okay. Um, so first, uh, approval of the January minutes. I have January minutes. I can call those up too. Thank you, Tom, for making these happen. Okay. Um, January minutes. I already looked through them. I don't know if you all have yet. Since I'm not signed in, I should be signed in. Okay. Um, uh, does anybody have any corrections to the minutes? I'm just looking at them now. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I see it, just a typo, but that's not a big deal. Tom, um, I, I, in terms of um, clarity, this is this is great. Thank you so much. All right, uh, will somebody please propose a motion to to accept the minutes uh, with minor changes? I make a motion to accept the minutes with minor changes. <laughs> Thank you. I have a second. I second. Are we all okay with this? Say aye. 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 Thank aye. you so much. Minutes pass. I'm, I'm abstaining. You're abstaining. Okay, Dara. All right. Um, okay. On the agenda, we've got Electrify Amherst to give you a update on that. I have the uh, agreement that I need to fill out. I did a very silly thing when I signed up for this, and that was that I put my name on it instead of uh, Amherst Public Art. So I need to talk to Angela about that and make sure uh, there's no problem with that. Um, I asked for 1500 to pay three artists um, to do three traffic uh, um, transformer boxes. Um, we got 850. So uh, I think that gives us room to possibly do two. We will do, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to offer $500 per artist and we'll pay for supplies. So we'll have to pay some of, use our, some of our own money possibly. Um, we don't have to vote on that today. That is just something I wanted to put out there and we can talk about it for March because um, I'd like to start working on a call for artists. We do have a process um, for this. For this, um, th this is a project that we've done before in the past. Uh, I we none of us were here for it, but um, it did happen in the past. So uh, Angela has assured me there's a process, and I've looked through it, and it makes sense. So um, we will work on that starting in March. Um, but uh, I, I did want to talk about you know if if it's okay for us to do two this year and for us to make up the difference in what that would cost, and is five hundred dollars enough money to give to an artist? So those are things we could talk about today. Terry. Quick question: How how are the boxes selected? Uh, does the town select those, or so you uh we can we can all get ideas together, and then I will bring them to the DPW, and they will let us know uh if those are okay to be painted, and they basically have to um not be slated for being replaced soon. Um, that was a problem uh, last year. We had a beautiful art on one end, but it was but it had to be replaced, so we lost the art. Uh, I'd rather that didn't happen. So I, I'd like them to stay up as long as possible. So I need to get, just talk to the DP to um, the DPW head and uh, find out which ones we can paint. And then we we just kind of pick out the ones that we like, and then we go forward with our call. Okay, we actually so go forward with the call we, before we come up with the with the boxes themselves. Actually, so we serve as the um, uh, selection committee. We do. I need to look more into that process, but I believe that's true, Tom. It is. I don't think we have other people to uh, to vote on that. I think it is we get to choose that one in in, in that process. Right, I think that's true. Mm -hmm. Um, do we know what kind of paint that they use on the boxes? Are they using house paint or acrylic paint? 
I think it's acrylics, but I'll have to find, I'll, I'll have to look through the paperwork that Angela sent us. Right, because that um, acrylic paint, I think in some, because it's on, a, it's such a large piece that it, it might be more expensive than house paint. I think I'm also going to talk to my um, my uh, colleagues at Arlington Public Art and find out, uh, get some more details about how their project is run. They've been running it for years. And so I can get some more information about the details like that so that we can. Right. And I'll talk to Amy Crowley because she ran it here. Yeah, I need to, I need to talk to Amy Crowley too. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, any other thoughts about Electrify Amherst? Do, do we know what people have been paid in the past? Has it been $500 or? I, I think that is about the average is $500 uh, in other towns as well. I wish we could pay them more, but um, we have budget. Um, so I, what I'll, I think what I'll do is, uh, I think Tom and I are going to look through the Electrify Amherst process, the stuff that Angela sent over and we'll have more information about that at the next meeting. Um, so we can talk about the process and what materials we need and what we should pay and how many we should do. We can have more details about that. That'll be on next month's agenda. This is just kind of to, um, to let you know that we, we got a grant, um, I need to fill out the paperwork for, <laughs> And then uh, we can start doing the work of getting ready for, for this call for art. All right, so moving on, uh, update on the APAC ACC merger conversation. We met with um, Matt and Julianne uh, uh, three, oh gosh, a month ago and discussed um, the possibility, the potentials of joining forces. Um, this was actually, um, we were asked to have this meeting from Paul, uh, the town manager, because uh, in his opinion, uh, there's a lot of confusion about how art is done in Arlington, in Amherst, and to see if it would make sense for us to join forces. So he asked, and so we made that happen, and we had our first conversation. Um, lovely people. Uh, ACC does a lot of great work in town. I'm really, really, we're very, very glad. I'm very glad we have them. Um, uh, I think we saw some places where there was potential and some places where we were not quite sure if we would fit. And uh, we both wanted to keep our autonomy, but we also know we could help the other out. I think uh, Matt was especially excited about the idea of having uh, more people to help read these grants and make these decisions because it's been very hard to get and keep committee members for the ACC. Um, it's a lot of work. and. Um, as you probably know, uh, there has been a shortage of public people wanting to go out for an office like this um, throughout the country. <laughs> and we are, we're seeing that ourselves. Uh, so Matt was saying that they also have trouble having enough people to, to, to the, go through the grant process. It's a long process. So he was excited about the idea of possibly having one or two of us join forces with them so they have more, uh, more people to do that work. Um, and from our perspective, uh, we liked the idea of being more connected to the artists that are right now applying for grants. I feel like sometimes we uh, send out calls for art out into the ether. Um, we don't really have an attachment to artists and the artists themselves are coming to the ACC. So it's possible that we, we have this font of artists that we could reach out to for calls um, and for uh for collaborations, um, instead of like kind of just throwing out a, a call, we could actually talk to a group of people. Um, so it's a, it's a little bit more more potential for us to have um, uh, bigger discussions, better better collaborations, and uh, artists who would want to do the work that we are engaged in. So that was um, our our part of that. Um, Tom, did you want to add anything else to that? I know you had a lot you had a lot to say during the meeting. Well, I think those are, those are in fact the main points. Uh, <clears throat> where where things stand now, or or where they left off at least uh, at that meeting, was a desire to uh, select topics that felt like they were worth um, being the agenda for the next meeting. Right. So I think that's where we stand. 
So we didn't need to have another uh, uh, random conversation with no agenda. I think we're going to, um, we wanted to go back to our commissions and our people and talk and uh, figure out what what is the next conversation to have. So we have some bullet points and some things to really talk about and think about separately. And then we come together and have another conversation. Um, so that's where we are. So um, I don't really have a lot else to add. Um, uh, like I said, the ACC does a lot of really great work. Um, the uh, project they do in the spring every year, the block party is a really big deal for the town. Uh, I'd love to be more, uh, to participate more into that. We we did, we were there last year and I, I, I'm i glad we were there, but I would like to have more um, more engagement with the people of our Amherst that go through that. And um, so some things to think about. Um, Dara, did you have some things you wanted to say about this idea? I guess I just wanted to ask you all, did you talk about the basic different missions the two groups have? Yeah. yeah. And how did y'all finally determine what those were? Are they the ones that are written down? Yeah, so we had um we had our papers in front of us for the meeting. So Angela yeah. and Angela got that ready for us. We had we could look at our mission statements right there. Um yeah. and we just kind of see the crossovers and um there are crossovers. Um, our mission is a little, uh, their mission is a little more uh, wide open um, for all art. Ours, of course, is just based on whatever public art is defined as, which is a strange, strange word. <laughs> what is well, public well, art well, anyway? <laughs> public art has such a big history and it has such a great use in communities in a million ways. So mm -hmm. it's good that it has its own name. You know, and the only thing that I, I I have questions about it because the ACC, I mean Amherst Art C Cultural Council, all their their money comes from Massachusetts Cultural Council, right? Right, right, right. So that's a very different pool of money than what the commission ever has. And Not really. We actually apply for grants through, through ACC. No, no, I know that. We can apply for grants mm -hmm. from them, but if you're if you merge it, you can't really apply to grants for them anymore. Well, if we merge, then we would um have access to the funds that are allocated to ACC itself for programming. They have a, a budget. Not, not necessarily because it, the Mass Cultural Council really does care about that that money goes mostly to individual artists. It does. The the, the remaining isn't a lot of money. It is it is no. uh No, and I But it is it is to be used for creating art Oh, I know. I've, I've seen things they do since I've been watching them for years, you know, and they're great. And I think the commission has the potential to be great and a lot better. And I, I care about the difference between public art being defined as something that is presented to a group of people to fit into a, a very specific place in a town with sometimes with a call that defines a little bit about what it needs to be. And it's different. The The grants for artists, individual artists, the artists make up their own thing. Nobody tells them what to do. Nobody tells them, oh, we want you to do this theme. This is the theme I'm looking for in my pup, in my art. Mm -hmm. And that's a really, per that's a First Amendment thing to preserve. It's the kind of thing that you don't ever want to lose as an artist. You don't want to be told what to do. And so I care about the difference. The, the art, the public art commission has a, a very, very different calling than the individual artists ones that that basically the ACC and MCC are that's their main missions. You know, so they're right. different. And I care about the difference. And I just want to make sure, I mean, do you really have to merge to make this work? No. No, and that's that's kind of what we're trying to figure out. If is this a merger or is this a a collaboration or is this we work together or we help each other? We really haven't defined all those things. Well, uh, you know that what our mission is and what their mission is both revolve around public benefit. Um, so um, theirs is all, they they have organizations that come to them and want oh, money yeah. programming and for you know for art. Yeah. 
but it's all for public benefit. And Amherst Art is also for public benefit. So that we have some things in common with our missions. Tom? Yeah, I think the, the, the key thing is not to just focus on the ACC pot of money, but yeah, to look at, which is not at very new much. sources. Yeah. And uh, both, you know, the, one of the overlaps in chartering statements for the two groups is to seek additional money. They mm -hmm. said, they told us that they really don't do that. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, that's because they get money from MCC. Right. So did, did you all talk about the uh, town council uh, bylaw that is the, call, I think it's called the percent for art bylaw, the 0.5%. Uh, yep. Did you all talk about that? Uh, we didn't really we didn't talk about talk, in, that, in that meeting so much, but no, we didn't talk about that. That's that's charged to us. Yeah, that's that's separate. So, and um, wouldn't that wouldn't that be coming up soon with the the new school? Yes. Well, it, several questions there, and I've asked Angela to look into these. Uh, it 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 really seems it will for the school. The uh, the bylaw says that when the budget gets created that that is the appropriate time to launch a process it's been very well defined actually mm -hmm. for setting up a, a you know committee to call for uh call for submissions and to uh you know create a budget line for it so there's the school uh building project there's also the question i asked angela also uh, whether the North Commons project, whether that was grandfathered, in other words, whether that started before the law took effect, yeah, or whether whether the public art, the percent for art, just got overlooked. Another question I have is um, the, the 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 library expansion. Um, is what kind of critter is the library? Is it, I don't believe it's it's considered a town department, even though the town has um, involvement in funding, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I think uh, Angela said that uh, Dona, Doma, I forget the name of it, uh, it has its own kind of thing too. So the North Amherst is a little bit different, Dara. Terry and Tom, do you think it would be a good idea to send all of us the percent for art bylaw? Yeah, I'll send I, that. I copied, I copied it and I read it. Mm -hmm. And it's really good for us all to know mm -hmm. what that is to help us with this bigger conversation about the ACC and APAC. Because right. yeah. Well, I think this I think this is the equivalent of the state funding that they get. In other words, it's it's fundamental to their charter. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the state funding, the uh, the percent for art is squarely is squarely charged oh. to us. Right, now, and that wouldn't change. When I look at the possibility of a merger, I don't see throwing everything into the same pot necessarily. No. And in fact, uh, Matt reminded us that there are things about the ACC that we really can't change, that they are That's required the by yep. the state. Yep. Uh, my view is he might have, you know, the two of us under one kind of umbrella or whatever you want to call it, well, and I keep the things that are special to each of us, but then work together rather than in in isolation on things like additional funding, contact with artists and cultivation of liaisons, things of that sort. Yeah. Well, it makes a good, good sense that the two groups would communicate. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would think so, yes. Well, these important. lines of communication have not been open before. And so I'm well, hoping I'm that sure. even these conversations will help that. Yeah. And and then us deciding what kind of ways to communicate together is really important, too. And I'm I'm in, always in favor of people communicating with other interested parties or people who can help people and all that kind of, you know, good stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want to th throw, like, I don't want to, I don't want to do what Tom said, but think only about that. They, they have money and we don't. It's not about the money anyways. It's really about the collaboration and the, and having more hands to do the work 
in a time when there's fewer people going out for public office. I think that's my key, that my key takeaways were, were working in collaboration and in cahoots yeah. with them under an under umbrella where we each keep our own autonomy, but help the other out and well, benefit and then, from their, um, benefit from each other's um, missions, you know? Yeah, well, I, and I think that the, if the ACC made it clear to the public through different art organizations in the Valley, art advocacy, newsletter, all kinds of stuff, they would have more people volunteering to read grants than they could deal with. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. 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 And so maybe they also really need to work on communicating with the individual art groups where they'd find artists who would be interested in being on their committees or you can have ad hoc committees, I imagine, right? Uh, MCC is a little bit picky about how uh, the uh, local cultural councils get their people. Well, that's really good. Yeah, I really don't know the particulars, but I know that they can be picky about it. Uh -huh. Well, uh, you know, reading that 0.5% um, that project in bylaw, I, it's really great to read it. You learn a lot about what the town thinks about mm -hmm. what kind of art and what kind of things they hope for. Yep. Out of it. Because see, like there's a big difference between telling an artist what you want. It's there's a big difference between commissioning somebody with a theme and telling them what you want their art to say. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. having yeah. you know a, just a way of honoring people, trusting that people's artistic ideas are gonna be that you can judge them responsibly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anybody else want to say something oh, about this? Thank you. Thank you. I have a suggestion. I've been thinking about this. Uh, what if we gathered a list of all of the artists who have interacted with either the ACC or a P us, Public Art, found, um, and sent them each a letter asking them, what can the town do? What should the town do to promote art and artists? Mm -hmm. I think Something that's like a that. great idea because there are people who have already self-identified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be yeah, great. I would love to see more networking happen in this town among the artists as well. Some artists like to be alone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Would anybody else like to say anything about this idea? Lori, you got anything? Um, no, I mean, I, I, I don't really, I, I, oh, you had your, that, your, us, you your... Know, I, I agree that we, you know, there should be more communication between us and the cultural council, because I think as long as I've been here, we, you know, we've applied for things, but there's been no real communication. So I, I think that I, I'm all for that. Um, and in whatever way we can, if there are projects to work together and, you know, it, I think I just agree with everything that's been said. I haven't really heard in a, in a way that we disagree on anything. It's, it's all for having more communication and that we do have different missions that we work with. All right. Thank you, Lori. Robert, did you have your microphone on for, did you want to have something to say? Just curious how, how, uh, how large is the cultural council? How how many people serve? Are there twelve members, Tom? Is that right? It's, uh, it sounds right. Um, Matt said people. that they have a have an opening or two. They have one right now, and they're going to have two or three open up this year. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're a little nervous about that. Um, October, November, December, January. They have they get real busy. Uh, yeah, so they have one space open now and one, two, three are opening up this year. So, yeah, they're a little nervous about that. Understandably, it's a, it's a big job. They get, they get a lot of applications. All right. Well, that was a good conversation. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining in on that. Um, do do well, send us all copies of that, of the bylaw, if you would. Yeah, of course. And then um, specific, um, you know, like your your agendas for those meetings with other people about the issue. 
Yeah. So, so right now we can um, decide among ourselves what we would like to bring up for the next conversation. So what would you like us to bring? That is, um, I'll write it down here. Who has uh, ideas about what we you think we should talk about for the next meeting? Well, I think we've talked about them. Okay. So when, when we have our next meeting with the Amherst Cultural Council, what would you like us to bring? Uh, I I would need a little bit of time to prepare that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, totally fine. Yeah. Uh, if each of you will think about that and you can just send them to me, um, I, I will let you know when the next meeting is. We don't have it on the books yet because we all we wanted to go back to our commissions and talk. So uh, think about it. Um, think about this conversation. And if you have some points you'd like us to bring up at the next one, I'd love to hear it. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the next um, uh, treasury report. Robert, do you have a, any changes in the treasury report? No, not since last month. Um, okay. And I never got a response from the town about the question of that uh, money that was related to the NIFA grant. Yeah. But I guess you I'm know, assuming that it's, it's in the planning department. So whenever there is a project, perhaps we can contact them to. That might be it. But if you have any questions and you're not getting uh, callbacks or, or return emails, reach out to Angela. Um, because she is um, she is mighty and she is our liaison and she will get it done. She's been really amazing lately. Um, been really, really helpful. Okay. So yeah, if you have if you have any problems with getting information from any town employee, just ask Angela and she will she will help us with that. Okay. Um, so we can move on to the town hall gallery March plans. We have a lovely artist coming in in March. Um, Christine uh, Mirabel. Mirabel. Yeah, right. Um, uh, so we're going to be having our next artist reception on March fourth, eighth, eighth, March. I think it's. And it she opens March on the fourth. We hang it on the fourth. It opens on the eighth. Okay. Right. So the question okay. is, when is the um, when is uh, Jennifer Moiston and um, Pamela? What, what, yeah, yeah. When are they going to take the other one down? We can have we can uh, send them an email I'll get and find in touch out. with them and, and work that out. Okay, yeah. thank you. I think they We're wanted to make a few changes to some of the panels because uh, they've had some new information come up from the exhibit. Right, right, right. So I'm Tom not... had this idea of uh, and and Mikey, tell me what you think about having uh, after um, Christine's exhibit ends at the end of April, um, inviting the Black History Month. Uh, project to go back up for May and June, so it's there for Juneteenth. Um, I, then, I think we should have it up until August, until the well, end of August, and maybe have um, because after that we have somebody that's interested, and maybe um, it would be good to leave the Black History one up for a while, so that people could really walk through and really see it. I I think some of the exhibits need more time. Okay. So um, that's my recommendation. I, I, I hear that. That's I something. Suggest, we could... uh, I suggest that we offer them. We offer May and June for the um, the repeat of the Black History, um, so as not to. Well, we'd like to. I, I'd like to see us move ahead when we get requests from other artists. Okay. And, and not back ourselves up too far. Okay, we have one rec one person. At this that's point, right. that's Agnes McCraven. We yeah. do. So mm -hmm. that would finish. So that would get us through uh, July and August. So then we'll right. be looking at the next one, looking for September. Right. So that does give us a few months to look for some more um, artists. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I agree with that, Mikey. Um, Okay. I would love to have that Black History Month up all summer, but we do have a, an artist who has reached out to us. So I, I don't right. want to. Yeah, that. we don't want to push her off. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's let's do that. Um, so March 8th, um, we're trying to figure out the time. Uh, I think she, uh, Christine wanted a four to six. Right. That's what she wrote in her email that she sent out to um, everyone. Yeah. I, 
that's all. I mean, I, I feel like we, uh, a lot of people can't make it there at four o'clock. And so you're going to miss a lot of folks. I, I hate, you're going to miss the, the restaurant traffic that might be going, you know, going on in town and people who are working until 4.30 and five, me included. Um, you know, that it kind of uh, excludes those people from this experience, which isn't my favorite thing. Um, I'd like to reach out to her and ask if she would be okay with moving it to five or to six so that we can have hopefully more people who work nine to five who can show up. Right. Well, that's fine with, it's fine with me if you reach out to her. Okay. It's totally fine. Okay. So Tom, I think you were going to reach out to her and see if that's okay. And we'll see. Um, we've yep. got, it's already up on the website. It's up, it's up for four o'clock. And if, if it has to be, that's fine. It's right. It's, I can't even get there at four. No, I don't know who can. <laughs> right. But um, if it has to be four to six, that's fine. But I would rather it be a little bit later. Um, we've got a press release ready to go that Angela wrote and Tom and I looked over and okay. uh, it's ready to go as soon as we agree on that time. Okay. So that'll go out on Facebook and Instagram too, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and to Valley News and Reminder and all those other places that these these, these things yeah, go. I've already right? sent, uh, sent the announcements out to five or six um media outlets. Uh, I took a quick look back at one of the confirmations and it does offer a link to make corrections. Okay. But maybe the others will too. Okay. In that case, if we do change, we'll make those changes. So Angela has already said that she would change the, the town's postings. Right. Okay. okay. Like I and, said, if and we do need to put a sign outside. There will be two sandwich boards, one at each entrance. Uh, the, the entrance from... Uh, Boltwood Drive is uh, going to be open by then, so we have to figure out a different place to put the table. Well, um, yeah, I have a place to put it, but um, okay, yeah, we're also we trying to think about some ways that we can help pay for this. And Angela came up with a bunch of ideas about getting uh, getting uh, area businesses to uh, offer them a table if they will offer some food or part of the money to pay for the receptions. I'd like to be a little bit more creative about how we pay. Cause I, I, I paid for the first one. Mikey paid for the second one. Uh, I paid for this last one, but I'm going to need to be reimbursed because <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, of money. I agree. So uh, I'm going to be putting in a receipt for that. Prepare for that, Robert. <laughs> um, but I'd like a way to pay for this. That isn't asking an artist for money. Right. Oh, no. I know we did that in the past. Um, it feels a little skeevy to me to say, pay for your reception. I don't like it. So uh, I'd like to find a different way to pay for it. Uh, our charter says that we should ask the town for budget too. So I think, I do think this would be a reasonable, I don't, again, uh, with budget setting, it w wouldn't happen immediately. Yeah. But this might be, be a, a reasonable operating expense. Right. That would be an ask. Yeah. That's something we can actually think about for the next time the finance committee gets together and we can have, we could ask for a, a budget for receptions and, and, you know, see what we can get from the town. Right. All right. On the list. Uh, okay. Um, anything else about town hall gallery? Did you all get to see the black history month months? Did you see, everyone see that amazing exhibit? Mm -hmm. You haven't go down, take a look at it. Really. All our names are on it. Really good stuff. Yeah. Our names are on it? Where? What? Well, the one in the town hall. Yeah. yeah. Right in the uh, very front. And it uh, has a list of all of us. Oh. I'm the Public Arts Commission. That's very sweet. Yeah. I'm um, I'm on the Amherst, the town website, and it doesn't show that exhibition, though, under the Public Art Commission. No, huh. it's not under ours. Um, we not did we not put it up there? No, I think with the scramble to get it up, oh. us, but we didn't do that and we right. should have. Um, take a look under the Department of uh, Equity. Uh, yeah, it might be in the DEI department. DEI. That's that's where I found, that's where we shared the uh, press release from, was from the DEI. Yeah. Um, it was on this page but it has been taken down. Huh. Hmm. I'm not sure why it was taken down. Well, this goes to the point about uh, better communication. Yeah. Right. Um, this is after the fact, but we could ask Angela to put it up on the um, public art page too. 
Right. So I think I think it should be up there, especially. It, it was you know, here. That, I don't know why it was taken down. And then when you scroll down further, so for another agenda item for the future is the tour Amherst art destinations. We, we really need to, to update it because there are pieces yeah. on there that are no longer there. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've uh, Angela has done some updates to the pages that I sent, but it, we certainly need to update some more pages. Um, if you'll write them down and send them to me, I will I will pass those along. Um, Amherst, the town of Amherst lost its person who did the web updates, and I don't know if they found somebody else to do those. So I think Angela might be doing them too. <laughs> Maybe they hired somebody. I really, I really don't know, but I know that they were the person who was doing and, that. The and did we ever get? Did we ever get um, any answers about like? I I was just because we were talking about our mission, and um, you know, it's it says developing policies for publicly owned works in Amherst. Do we actually know what we own? Uh, we have a basic inventory. Where's that? Be great for us to all see that too. Yeah, I think that is actually in stuff that Angela sent over. She sent us how many pages, Tom? She sent us like electronic pages from the last Yeah, there are like 500 pages. There. Yeah. Tom's gone um, through a lot of it. I mean, I think I we think, could probably get an inventory. The question is a good one. We, sh we should have it all in one easy to find place. Absolutely. It's, it's good to be educated about what's behind us and what might have been overlooked. That's how we go forward is knowing our history. And the thing about this commission is that there isn't really, it's hard to strategic plan when we don't know our past, you know? Right. And so the, the 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 legacy of this commission seems to be people do things, great things, but then they move on, and there isn't really that um, that continuity. Um, that's something that I think we'd like to work on is is having having more records and more processes in place that we can pass along. All right. Okay, so I am moving on to the chair report, which I wrote here somewhere. If I can find it. Aha. All right. Chair report. Short one this month. Um, I did want to say that Tom and I have been working on a few things. Um, uh, they're in the planning stages. Like we'd like to convene, convene a meeting to take a look at the policies and processes for public art. Um, this would be a full commission meeting. Um, we'd like to make that happen in person if possible. I know we talked about this last <laughs> spring and we, we just could not pull it together. I would really love to pull that together this this spring if we could. I think getting together in person and talking about and, and, and kind of mapping out how we do things, how we should do things would be really helpful. Um, uh, also, like I said, the talks with ACC are ongoing. I think there's a place where we can both coexist and help one another. I'm not sure what that looks like. And I'd like to meet with the town manager to see what he was thinking about when he first asked us to get together and talk about it. So um, that's something I'll be doing as soon as Paul can make some some time for me. Uh, the town of Amherst has offered our commission the opportunity to have a non-voting councilor liaison. Um, we have said yes. We think it might be useful to have a town liaison. I don't know that we will get one, but um, the possibility exists that uh, we will get a non-voting member to um, as, who is a town representative, and it could be somebody from planning. It could be somebody from uh, the library. It could be somebody from public works. We don't really know exactly how that comes out, but Tom sent along a, uh, a letter saying, sure, we would be interested in that. So we'll see how that pans out. Did you want to add anything about that, Tom? It just that we made the, we made the point, uh, you know, in support of our request, we made the point that uh, we could certainly use some help as we work on our processes and our filling out of our understanding of our charter. I think that would be helpful to get somebody to help us with that process. So we'll uh, we'll let you know how that goes. Um, and then I just wanted to acknowledge all the work that Angela Mills has done in support for our commission. I don't know if you are all aware. She's really come through for us. Um, we don't have a planner, but we have an Angela. She's been writing press releases, updating the website, baking cookies for our reception, showing up at the receptions, helping us get, you know, get them ready, and keeping us all on schedule and aware of arts events uh, happening around town. 
Um, we are very fortunate. Fresh. Yeah, we are. We are very fortunate. So right. Um. Uh, also, um, I would like to come up with a response to Catherine regarding the For Want of a Nail project. And I think it's going to be a letter uh, of recommended steps. I think it's going to be a uh, um, kind of a, this is a, this is what public art is thinking. Um, these are the holes that we see. We are having trouble committing to this project, even though we don't, aren't paying for it, because we don't have an answer to some questions about what happens to these um, artifacts at the end of this project. Um, and also who will be responsible for this at the North, North Amherst Public Library when it needs to be repaired. Um, uh, there's a lot of questions that we didn't ever have get, ever get answered. And so uh, we can't really sign off on this and move forward. I think we need to write a letter of recommendation saying these are things that you need to see or take right. care of. Did, did you ever talk to Amy Crowley? I did not. I still have not gotten together with her. I've been too busy. Oh, okay, because she's got a lot of information specifically on projects like this. Mm -hmm. um, I talked to her about the one that's in Kendrick Park, which somebody um, did themselves and then donated to the town. And the Public Arts Commission said, no, we can't take it on. I, I don't agree with the idea that we can have a town filled with statues that p private citizens decide they want to put up as ego projects. I don't think that's what we want filled all over our town. Right. Um, I think that if there is a, a, a public art project that has public benefit that uses, you know, that uses town artists, uh, some kind of a collaboration and something that we're all looking forward to, or we want to mark on something historically and using art, that's really valid. But I don't think ego projects are something that public art should really be doing. Oh. Um, and so I think that's going to be part of the response and um, I'm happy to write it up and we can talk right. about it, but um, I, I would like to get that done. I don't like to leave her hanging. I don't, if she wants to keep moving forward, I think she can move forward with the North Amherst library. Um, if they want to put that up in, in the front, you know, the front there and they're all excited about it, then I think that that's what we will say is we will say, you may do what you like, but it won't be a public, a public art project because Correct. we really can't sign off on it as a commission. It just, there's, there's just, it breaks some rules that we really um, feel, feel worried about. Yeah. Well, and, and because she chose the artist to do it and she yeah. chose the parameters, which is not within how we do things. It's also, and I was really confused the problem. about what, how she got a, a, how she got an MCC grant. Cause if you read, um, you know, the regulations for approving grants, they have to be of public benefit. Um, right. I don't really see how this is of public benefit. And it also is supposed to be a group, like a group. And there would be a group who would come to us and say, we would like to do a project. And then the ACC would say, oh, great, here you go. Um, instead of it being one person. So, one person is not an artist, you know? So it's it's a little it's a little odd that it got a grant. Um, hmm. But I'm, 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 I'm not against it. I think she should be able to do this if, if the library wants to do it. So have you talked to the library? Yes, I did. I reached out to them to ask what they thought about it. They they all were very excited about it. Okay. So like, so we've, you know, like I said, our due diligence was, I talked to the DEI about it. They didn't, it wasn't even on their radar. Um, they weren't concerned. So I said, okay, I'm moving on. And then I asked the historical commission and they said, oh, well, that looks great. No problem. So I said, okay, well, this is what, this is the due diligence. And then I was asked to, to contact the North Library and they said, yay, you know, <laughs> so um, I think that's so we just kind of pass this off and, and let them make this happen if they want. Yeah. Well, for me, this is, this is, I'm sorry, Tom, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, he froze. Oh, he froze. Oh, okay. Um, I, I like the where it's being placed is a, has that been talked about? That intersection is so dangerous it's actually not in the inter it's right in the front it's the library that's like um facing away from the intersection it's in the front yard of that it's not it wouldn't be at any kind of problem visually oh, well, the place that that we were shown where it was going to be is in that little triangle on the back of the new addition to the library well it's actually like right in front of the library it, it wouldn't it's not it, it wouldn't obstruct any view anywhere not what we saw and, and it's not so much of obstructing a view it's a distracting a, a confluence of one, two, three, four, five 
groups of people trying to all go through an intersection. Yeah. I mean, you don't want a distraction like that close to the road because it's very close to the road where she showed it to, we saw it, the one thing I saw. I didn't think it was that close, but they I mean, have a lot on this, uh, their parking lot faces the, the auto bot, the, the towing people shop. And there's a big swatch of ground over there. Let's see. If it's on here somewhere. I feel like we saw something because I wouldn't have made that up. No, you were right. I'm just, I, I have not been to the North Amherst library yet. It's, that would be, that's helpful. I, I've driven by it. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not as aware as you all probably are of how close to the road that is. It didn't, yeah. if this is the, is this the picture? It's this right here? No. Yeah, um, it would be right behind that bench. It would be like right here, right? I just don't, I don't, I can't tell the proximity of the other streets from this picture. So it's hard to tell. Well, I can tell. So it, it's really close. Okay. My my biggest concern with it is the fact that uh, she was allowed to go in there and take them. Yeah. Um, to take the horseshoes. Yeah. Uh, because when when all the other um, sites were excavated, like the um, parking garage, everything went to the town and then went to the historical society. There's an exhibit at the historical society of the objects that came out of um, the parking garage. So I just don't understand why the library just let her in there. I think the construction company was, the, there were the people who just let her have them, the horseshoes. Oh, yeah. I don't think it was the right. library at all. I think it was just the people who were doing the construction said, sure, here you go. <laughs> yeah, but that's not how you. It know. isn't, it isn't. But so and I that, think that's, that's worrisome that to me. We just need to kind of write this, this letter, um, recommending her next actions and um just let her know because i just i don't want to leave her hanging any longer right mm -hmm. it sounds like you are are in agreement with me so we'll we'll just go yes. ahead and see that happen okay uh okay back to let's see where did i put my oh there it is okay um we are at the place where i would be inviting public comments however there is nobody to comment um um, so, uh, in other business not reasonably anticipated prior to 48 hours before the meeting, I was going to bring up something that uh, Jim sent me uh, that he was excited about, um, but he's not here. I'm hoping he is okay. He wanted to talk about a proposal put together by the late Eric Browdy, who I'm not aware of who that is. Maybe you all know who that is, uh, and his wife, Gigi. Um I'm going to put this on the next agenda since we, since he's not here. Um, but, uh, it looked, it looked interesting to me. So I'm going to send, am I allowed to do that? I'm going to ask him what I'm allowed to do because <laughs> I don't want to break, you know, public law. Can we read that? Could you lower it back down so we can read what the proposal actually is? Well, I can't read that page, but, uh, it's a mural exhibition on Amherst East common. Uh, I love the idea. Um, I think that I'm just going to propose it today and say, look what we're going to be talking about next month because <laughs> he's not here to talk about it. Um, but where's, I will read. Where's the East Common? Is that by Southeast Street, Tom? Is the that East by Southeast Street? It says the East Common. Yeah, I think that's that's what they call that that grassy area. That's across from the Fort River School. Okay. Okay. Huh. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, that's so. This will be coming up for our March meeting, which I will send you out a doodle for, so that we can pick a time. So okay. coming up, we will have um, we'll have a talk about the letter I'll be sending to Catherine. We'll be talking about this interesting looking mural exhibition, and we'll be talking about other things that I have said we're going to talk about. Okay, so if, if there is if there is a list in all those that paperwork, not, you know, I don't want to make extra work if it's not accessible, but if there is a list of the work that um we are actually responsible for that the town owns, right? You know, in our files, I, it would be great to share that at the next yeah. meeting. 
So Tom, what do you think about possibly sharing that big document? I don't think it hurts any of well, us to actually uh, have a copy so we can all big, look through it. Okay, what do you mean by the big document? The one that um, Angela sent with all the pages of everything. Okay, the that's, 500 about 20, that's about 20 documents. Um, what I can do is, is pull out, I can go back and excerpt pages that <laughs> he froze again. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> you keep freezing. So I just want to make sure that um, he's going to contact Christine yep. about the time, and I'm going to contact Agnes McCraven. Um, yes. Talk to Tom about who's going to reach out to the next person. You can all both decide who's going to do that. Right. Um, Tom, that would be for uh, July and August. Yeah, July. I've got it. Okay. I've got it. Okay. okay, I'll I'll contact Agnes. Okay, Mikey to contact Agnes. Great. Um, I will be there on the eighth, no matter what the time is. I'll try to get there uh on time, but I might be late. Um, so we yeah, should I probably decide if uh you all want me to get the treats or if you somebody else wants to this time, and we are going to be paying you back. Okay. Um, I can't get there before four, so I. Uh, I okay. I I think we're going to be changing. It, you know. If uh, if Christine is a, is amenable, we will be changing to six, probably like okay. six to seven thirty. Right. Um, in any event, uh, in any event, I can pick up refreshments and things. Okay, we'll talk. We'll talk about a list and get that all worked out. Okay. Um, so to do list, we've got um, a list of public art that we own. We'd like to see that if we can get it. Um, if if that means just sending us all a bunch of documents, Tom, that's fine. Um, I'd um, love to put together that list. And if somebody wants to make it their pet project, that's fabulous. Um, um, contact Christine Harry. about the hours. That's what Tom's going to do. Mm -hmm. And Mikey's going to reach out to the next artist. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write the letter to Kat, to Catherine. And I think that was it. And you all are going to have uh, conversations. Well, you're all going to be thinking about other topics you want us to bring up for the next conversation we have with the Amherst Cultural Council, and you'll send those to me separately. Don't CC anybody else so that we don't break meeting law. Correct. Okay. And then next month, we'll talk about embracing community, which looks really fascinating. Um, do send good thoughts and emails to Jim. Um, I know he's not feeling well. He's had a setback. So reach out to him and, and send him some love. I'm going to call him and see how he's doing. Um, does anybody have anything else they'd like to bring up? Uh, just a very small point to add on to Lori's request. <clears throat> there, <clears throat> there's also the category of temporary works that we, I think we don't want to get lost in memory. Oh, and definitely not. It turns out, it just happens to be that one of my very favorite public art things in Amherst is in that category. Remember there were those little white structures that had snippets of Emily Dickinson's verse on it. I mean, those those are gone. Yeah, I do. And so I, I'd like to see us try to uh, find and record what we can about the things that have been temporary. I think that's a great idea. Archiving all of that information is really good for history. Um, and I love temporary public art. I love things that that break down with time and like th with nature and wash away with the weather. I think that I love that. Yeah, and who did, did do we know who did the um the terracotta um tiles that are all over the town? I think yeah, that's that's, actually that's the in the re that's in the records. And that yeah, that's actually in there. physical in inventory. Right. Okay. You can probably get the information you want about those tent things with the lines from Dickinson on them from the Dickinson people. Yeah. I'm sure they talk to, they probably have pictures and documented mm -hmm. it. Yeah, good point. Good point. Probably on in the files too. All right. Okay, so I think that's it for tonight. Um, it is 7.59. We are good. Look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, well, thank you all for coming. I appreciate your time and I will send out a doodle for the next meeting and I hope to see you on March 8th. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I should do a whole. Okay, let's talk about who. Let's, let's do this the, the legal way. Oh, somebody like to make a motion to end our meeting? I make a motion. Somebody second. Second. I second. All in favor? 
Hi. Hi. Here we are being all legal. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night. Have a good night.